wondering how can we sort of change the functionality of the toggle to behave more like an accordion. Uh, before I showed you how we could style the toggle to look like the accordion, but now let's add that extra functionality. So first off, let me show you what I'm referring to. So here we have our toggle. And normally if you clicked on another one, it would open. But instead now we have it set where it's gonna toggle the two and even down below where we set up just a basic one. And I'll even review just the styling a little bit. That's why I left the styling at the bottom here on style. So now let's uh, go forward and let me show you the JavaScript. Now, this is what I did. I went into, let me go back into our min area dashboard. Go into, hopefully you are using the templates because this does make it easier. And for the main area, so our main content, I'm using the main template throughout the site. So I went to the main template, and that's this one right here. I clicked onto the footer, went into the advanced section. I'm just kind of click out of it. So I click onto the, here the footer, I call it footer big with CTA. And then go into the advanced tab, then the JavaScript tab, and I put my JavaScript here. And the reason why I did is because I want to be applied to every page. So I don't have to kind of add it. You know, I could add in a little uh, if statement there so that this would only run on a certain page or so forth. But I figured this was the easiest. That way it's used with, throughout my template. And it's I only have one spot to update it. And if I used it, put this JavaScript on the element itself, then it would be too many times that it would be uh, throughout the site. So that's where we only want to put once and this is a good spot and it's near the footer. So to kind of break down, so first off the oxy toggle, that's what they call their toggle. That's the main class that's on it. And then so when we click on that, we want to get the the class. This is where the active class is. And then we also want to get the ID of the element that we're clicking on. Now, here what we are doing, actually we don't even need to get the class anymore because I changed the script a little bit, but here we see the ID is the important part right now, and they even put in the console log, which we should hide that out because we don't want to spit out console logs all the time, just for testing to make sure that it was getting it. Then what we do is, here the next line is we have, when we click, it looks for the oxy toggle. And then not the one with the, the ID, so the active ID, the one that I just clicked. Then it's telling it to remove the class. And here we had to use a little bit of rejects. That way we would basically grab all the classes that are on the element. So in case there's other classes and we use classes that are there for maybe styling and even functionality, we grab all of those, then we put it into an array, and then we go through, and what we're doing is we're basically saying, if it matches, toggle, and then a number in between, and expand it. And that's because here, let me pull up the code, the inspector, is we see that it does exactly that. We have the toggle, a number, four digits in between, and expand it. Okay, so that's where, depending on what your um, oxygen builder spits out, it usually follows that pattern of toggle, number, expanded. So that's where we want to now basically get that and remove it when we click. You know, so that it's basically, it's going to you know, open it up. And then the other thing that we have to do is the little icon, that little plus and minus icon, is we want to be able to kind of toggle that as well. So what we need to do is, if it's not the one that I just clicked, we want to add that class of oxy ECI collapse. And that's kind of what they call it when it's collapse. It looks like a, the plus sign, like that. So that when we click it, you know, it'll do what we asked it to. It'll close like that. So that's the functionality. And if we close it, it closes the other. 
So this is just basic styling. Let's go back to our JavaScript here. Go back onto the footer, advanced JavaScript. And then what I also did is because the way that the toggle works um, by default, now if you changed it and using a class for what you're going to hide and show, well then we're, or an ID, an ID would be better because we want a specific one. But if we leave it at the default, it's just going to take the next element that's beside wherever your toggle is and it's going to hide it or show it. So what we want to do is when we click on it, what it's going to do is not the current one that we're clicking, but all the other ones of the oxy toggle, we want to put it to display none. And that's how we hide the other content when we click and also how we toggle the, the class. So this is the, the script take here. And I'll put a, a link to it and uh, to a code pen so then you can see it and uh, see it, more of the functionality of just the script and sort of a sample of the functionality of how God, to break down. So now for the styling. So let's take a look at sort of the styling that I have going. Let's collapse the editor. Going over here. Is I just added, you know, basically a, a light border over top of it, a shadow when we hover over the title, and then when we click, it kind of keeps that one line going around. So going over to our editor, what I did is go to Manage. I went to Style Sheets. I open it back up. Style Sheets, I created a new one. I clicked Add Sheet, Oxy Toggle. I called it because that's what we're modifying. So it's easy to find down the road. And then I just use the class that we have already. I put a width of 100% because I it's currently using display flex, which will take the inner elements and kind of uh, make it fit into that area. But what I want to do is make sure that oxy toggle is 100% within that area. And then so that it's also responsive as well. Then the box shadow, kind of use this for the hover effect. And that's also where this transition all 0.4 seconds so that I can kind of animate that uh, hover. And then it's kind of nice and smooth. And then also the background, if I decide, I put a slight change of background with just FEFE -E there so that it's, when we hover, we kind of know what's going on. Now, for the, I created another class, Toggle Content. And this is because it's just going to take the basic div and there's no padding, there's nothing on it. And I created a class because I don't, if I wanted to change one item, I don't want to have to go through the whole site and kind of find each element again. That's why I create a class and then you have one spot to change it. And so these don't have the classes. So to add the class, I left it blank on purpose so that I can go to the structure, click down to the text where I have it, click over here, paste in that class I want to use, hit add class, do the same with the next one. Click on where the ID is, click into enter class name, paste it in, add class. I hit save. And then if I refresh, boom, we see now they have the styling. Now the only extra styling that I probably change on this just for you know, a little OCD is when it comes to that CSS class, I'm going to go my style sheets again, oxy toggle is I probably just go border top. Hit save, go over, refresh, and there we go. That's good. I don't really like the little top there. Or if I decide porter top size, you know, porter top width, sorry. If I did porter top width, then I could change that. Mm -hmm. So that's basically how we go through and kind of change you know, the styling of this. Hopefully that was helpful and can help you out with some of your future projects. Enjoy the rest of your day.